Hello grade 7 students, I am teacher Cheryl and welcome to my virtual classroom. Before we start with our lesson, who among you can still remember about Pinggang Pinoy? Very good! I'm glad that many of you still remember Pinggang Pinoy. So, here's a quick review. Pinggang Pinoy is an easy-to-understand food guide that reminds us of what our meal should look like each day. A properly balanced meal consists of three basic food groups, the Go, Grow, and Glow foods. It is accompanied by a glass of water and or a nutritious beverage like milk. Go foods are also called energy-giving foods. They contain carbohydrates and fats that give our body the energy we need to meet the demands of our more active lifestyle. Grow foods. Choose grow foods from different protein sources. Different protein sources have different kinds of amino acids and additional nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Eating different sources of protein raises your chances of getting all the amino acids that your body needs. Glow Foods Choose glow foods that have a wide variety of color. Different colored fruits and vegetables contain nutrients. So, eating a wide variety of colors ensures that we are getting a wide range of nutrients. And now, let us move on to our topic, the right food during adolescence. Food is any substance that is ingested and absorbed in the body in order to maintain life and growth. These nutrients are found in food to help the body in growing, repairing cells, and giving energy as adolescents undergo various changes. Nutrition deals with the food choices that promote growth, development, and reduce the risk of illness and diseases. Nutrients refers to the chemical components of food which our body utilizes as a source of energy as well as the development of muscles and maintenance of tissues. Adolescents need the right kinds of food to support growth and changes in their bodies to prevent physical and mental infirmity. Good nutrition is critical during adolescence to support healthy growth and development. Teenagers need to choose the right food to meet the changing nutritional needs. It should be composed of the following nutrients. Protein Carbohydrates Minerals Calcium And Water Now let us discuss first about protein. Adolescent needs more protein than adults. It is needed for growth and repair of body tissue. Enough protein avoids chronic infections and injury. Sources of protein are beef, pork, poultry, fish, yogurts and eggs, beans, nuts and seeds. Next is carbohydrates. It is the main source of energy. Sources of carbohydrates are bread, potato, pasta, noodles, corn, rice, and other root crops. Next is minerals. It helps in regulating the chemical reactions in the body. Iron is required for the synthesis of hemoglobin. Sources of minerals are vitamins needed by the body in order to work properly, such as Vitamin A for healthy eyes. It is found in oranges, carrots, squash, and broccoli. Vitamin A is also called retinol. It is necessary for healthy vision and also helps create strong bones and teeth, as well as a strong immune system. Vitamin B is for energy production and iron absorption. Vitamin B is a group of vitamins that help the body turn food into energy. They are also needed to make red blood cells and the genetic materials DNA and RNA. The vitamin B group includes B1 or thiamine, B2 riboflavin, B3 niacin, B5 pentothenic acid, B6 pyridoxin, B9 folic acid, B12 cobalamin, and biotin. 
Vitamin C is for strengthening blood vessels, skin elasticity, and antioxidant. It is found in fruits like oranges, grapes, and guava. Vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid. It is necessary for making collagen, which holds body cells together. It also aids in the healing of wounds and burns and helps build strong teeth and bones. Vitamin D is for strong and healthy bones. It is found in fish, eggs, mushroom, and spending a few minutes under the sun can stimulate vitamin D production. Vitamin D is made by the body when it is exposed to the sun. The vitamins is also found in certain foods. Vitamin D helps the body absorb the mineral and calcium. It also helps build the strong bones and teeth. Vitamin E, it helps maintain healthy red blood cells and muscle tissues. Vitamin K is necessary for blood clot when you get a cut. Half of the vitamins comes from the food you eat. The other half is manufactured by bacteria in your intestines. Next is Calcium. Bones grow rapidly during adolescence. Right amount of calcium is recommended to build strong bones and fight bone loss later in life. Sources of calcium are milk, cheese and other dairy products, soya beans, tofu and nuts. And last but most importantly, water. It helps keep our temperature normal. It also helps digest your food and get rid of waste in your body. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Teacher Charil. See you next week. Bye!